evening and welcome to another video. I'm alongside the East Coast Main Line near Selby and uh, it's forecast to be a decent sunset and the plan is over the next three nights or so come out round various places and look for some uh, hopefully some decent sunsets get some warm glows in the sky go for some silhouettes shadows nighttime shots so that's the plan over the next three nights see where I can get to to try and get some uh, interesting nighttime and sunset shots It's a promising sign of the high clouds in the sky. Hopefully they're going to all illuminate in reds, oranges, purples and give a real uh, fantastic sunset sky. For the next few shots I'm going to be shooting straight into the sun. I always find it a good idea to uh, take off any filters and give the lenses a good clean. Because any specks of dust on there can cause lens flare. Sunset tonight should be just to the side of the railway line so hopefully just as the sun's setting there'll be some nice glints on the side of the uh, passenger trains that are hopefully coming past around that time. Oh and make sure you stick around for the final location on this sunset trip got fantastic sunset with great silhouettes and right at the end icing on the cake with a red cherry on top. It, the sun has well and truly set. There's a northbound Azuma coming up, uh, I have no idea where it's going, but it's coming up from Doncaster and I'm just going to do a practice shot over this bridge. I might or might not include the sky, I don't know. Just before I pack in, there's a freight liner coming down from Tyne Yard to uh, Doncaster and there's probably just enough light to be able to capture that, so uh, let's watch that go past. The sky did kind of illuminate, uh, but guess what? <laughs> no trains when the sky was at its best. Anyway, that might be it for tonight. So we'll see where we end up tomorrow night and over the next couple of nights, see if I can get some decent sunsets in. And uh, the plan is to join all this together in a, in a longer video. So uh, I shall see you tomorrow. Good evening, another day, another sunset. Now I'm uh, overlooking Hunslet in Leeds and uh, the sun's just setting over the city so I'm setting up for a, a shot of some sort, see what's running. Now I'm just waiting for those couple of Class 66s to return. They go up to Engine Shed Junction to uh, change over tracks to get into the Midland Road Depot. That uh, couple of Class 66s, I've just got those coming out of Leeds. And they've just gone beyond this bridge now and uh, the driver swaps round and then they, they go back into the depot.
So the sun's set and uh, it's a bit of a waiting game now. I'm going to hang on and see whether any of the, uh, the clouds start to illuminate. But uh, it's looking rather dull actually. I'll hang on a little while and see, uh, see whether any colour does come into the sky. And if some colour does come, then I've got the camera locked in position and I can do another couple of frames there and I can merge them together. And with a bit of luck, the uh, Unslit Yard lights come on as well. And uh, if they do, I can blend that lot together as well to, uh, to make a bit of a composite image. Well, that's good news. The yard lights have come on and uh, the lights over Leeds are starting to twinkle. I'm thinking of merging the a shot net taken now with the yard lights and the lights over Midland Road with the Class 66 shot that I took earlier, which was rather dull and not very much light now, you know, after the sun had just set. So there we are, another day, another sunset, and uh, let's see where we end up tomorrow. So uh, hopefully the weather forecast is good and uh, there's another decent sunset tomorrow night and uh, I shall continue the quest of sunset photography. Another day, another sunset, and what a glorious one it's looking. I'm on the Drax branch, uh, overlooking Eggborough Power Station and the East Coast Main Line. Uh, there's a couple of biomasses in and out of Drax in the next hour or so as the sun sets. So I'm going to try and get a, a couple of glinted shots of the sun reflecting on the side of those. And then as the sun sets, uh, it's a fantastic spot is this for getting uh, silhouettes with the Eggborough Power Station and anything running up and down the East Coast Main Line. So uh, as the sun sets a bit later on this evening, I'll see what I can get in, uh, in those silhouette shots. So the first train, which is approaching Eggborough Power Station, I'm trying to get down into these railings just down here and trying to get a low shot uh, into the sunshine. So uh, I'll see what that looks like. Now I thought I would have a few moments to read my book, but um, there's a biomass coming out of Drax and there's another one approaching Drax. So I'm going to put my book down <laughs> and pick this up later and, uh, and get set up for those two.
boy that was a flurry of activity I've been concentrating on the Drax branch and I forgot all about looking on the East Coast main line for any freight uh, but that was four freights in five minutes so which is pretty incredible anyway I wish I'd have recomposed quickly that uh, last 66 because just out of frame or it might just be on the edge of frame I've got the front of the 66 coming down the East Coast main line and the 66 on the uh, Drax biomass so I could have got the two trains without any photoshopping but uh, I'll have to have a look at that in a bit of detail now I've had a look and there's no trains due for about 20 minutes now so it gives me an opportunity to go through this book now if you're enjoying these uh, sunset and shadowy and silhouette type shots there's a couple of chapters in here that cover shadows and silhouettes and sunset twilight and night time and uh, fantastic I thoroughly recommend you having a look at this book if you really like alternative railway photography according to tonight's sun position calculator the sun should set that's right tongue twister the sun should set behind the cooling towers of Egbro power station there's a little bit of cloud high cloud in the sky tonight so I'm hoping that's gonna really uh, light up when the Sun's gone down and the plan is to do some silhouette shots of, uh, of trains going past on the East Coast main line hopefully for a bit of color in the sky tonight Now the sun's set, these high clouds are really starting to deliver now. Best sunset I've had over the last few nights is this. It's always great to get a few clouds in the sky, you know, as the sun's gone behind the horizon and it just sets the sky on fire and looks fantastic. And there's still a couple of trains due in about uh, 10 minutes, so hopefully there's enough light still in the sky. There's one from King's Cross and one from Edinburgh, so uh, one in either direction. And uh, see if I can get a silhouette with ferry bridge in the background and that gorgeous sky illuminated and hopefully I can get a nice silhouette I was just about to pack up and I heard the rumble of a class 60 coming off the Drax branch so quickly got all the camera gear again and uh, hopefully there's a photograph But interestingly if you notice that um, it stopped at the red signal and then went through the the signal at red which uh, obviously a, a fault or something there so I was just packing up all the camera gear again and I heard a train coming off the Drax branch so hoping that it was going to stop at this red signal again I've rigged my camera up on a tripod got some long exposure of the train uh, stopped at the light so I could do a two second timer on the tripod and I think it's probably the shot of the last few days is that actually so um, a bit of a bonus One of my favourite aspects of railway photography is the, is the low light, evening, dusk shot, whether it's in winter or in summer. Just trying to get that moving train with the fading light and if you can get the, the sunset behind or whatever, it's a real satisfying part of uh, photography. Now I hope you enjoyed these last few nights out trying to get silhouettes, sunsets, uh, and dusk shots. I've enjoyed them. The weather's been 
kind, <laughs> so it's, uh, I've enjoyed it. So if you've enjoyed this video, it's always appreciated if you can give it a thumbs up or a like or whatever it is. And uh, if you've got any comments, then please, I'd love to uh, hear from what you've got to say. So until the next one, I shall see you on the next video. Now we've got something coming. It sounds like a freight train. It's on the East Coast Main Line. I'm not going to photograph it because it's pitch black. There was a Scunthorpe to Lockenby Steelworks that was due, which is, uh, it looks like a Class 60. So with that, I shall see you on the next video. Right, bye, see you later.